My mother and her husband had a baby. And my mother thinks I should help her with it sometimes. But the way it is now, I wouldn't know how to help her with her baby, even if I wanted to. <laughs> Photography, computers, backgammon. And this term, for the very first time, we are offering you guys a course in infant care. Whoa. Say what? Medicare? You mean babies? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> are we a little old to be playing with dolls? Uh, maybe. But these aren't going to be dolls, Stephen. As a matter of fact, the infants in the infant care class are going to be real, live babies. <laughs> Who's teaching? Uh, she's a friend of mine, Janet Tor Molinos. She's taught courses like this before. The girls are storks. <laughs> yeah, Stephen, as a matter of fact, the last people who took this course were girls. Ha! But since some of you are going to be fathers someday, or brothers, or babysitters, if you're into babysitting, the infant care class could be especially valuable. Ward. How? Well, it's funny that you should ask that question, Ward. <laughs> All right, everybody who takes the infant care class and passes it gets a certificate, a seal of approval, saying that he knows how to handle himself around babies. Now, I figure with a certificate like that, you could increase your babysitting rate by uh, 50 cents, maybe even a dollar an hour. Is there a course in vacation stretching? If there were, I guess you'd be teaching it. <laughs> take computers? I'm not sure. What do you think, J.D.? Mm, I don't know. The baby class sounded interesting. Yeah, it did. You're planning on being somebody's mother? No. <laughs> but I'm planning on being somebody's father someday. And if I were, I won't be good at it. <laughs> hey, Matt, what do you think? Babies? Oh, yeah, Claude. That's a real good choice. You're good with babies. Whatever you say. Come, children. Bye. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> well, anything interesting at school today? Not that I noticed. <laughs> I have to pick an elective tonight. Oh. That sounds boring. Take a look. Karate. Boring. Infant care. Boring. Dolls and diapers, huh? No, real babies. What a great idea. I'm not taking it. Could be very helpful. I know. I can't say I blame you. I was never much interested in babies either. Till I met your mother. I never said I wasn't interested. <laughs> Sounds like Jason could use some infant care. Come on, Matt, I'll give you a free introductory lesson. No, thanks. Your brother's crying. He's not my brother. Your half-brother, then. Aren't you interested? Half interested.
even though I can see how it might not be all that great, I'd like to take the infant care class because it might not be all that boring either. Oh boy, babies! Listen up, listen. I can't believe it, babies, right here. There's lots to learn about. But the best part is how taking care of these babies is going to turn you guys on to one of the best parts of yourselves. A lot of guys your age and well, a whole lot older, uh, they don't know the first thing about the part of themselves that really loves babies. The nurturing part of themselves that gives babies the caring they need to grow on. You guys are the lucky ones. Jill and her mom, and Allie and her mom, and Carrie and her mom. Um, Claude and Aramis, you go over with Jill, help her get her outer garments off over on that mat over there. Uh, JD and Philip, you go with Allie and her mom, I'm right over there. And hi. Don't worry about the boys, they'll be really careful, and I watch them like a hawk. Good, we'll see you in 45 minutes. Enjoy your time. Don't worry. Okay. Here we are, it's baby time. There, look what we have here. Okay, well, the first thing you guys got to learn about babies is that they're human beings, just like you and me, only smaller, cuter, and smarter. Okay, Ward, you're up. Come on up. Here, let's put it this way. Okay. Okay, this is how you hold a baby. Put your hands securely under her arms, like this, with your thumbs forward. Wrap your hands around, support her head, and lift. You got a full grip? Here you go. Hi. Hello. Hello. Just smile. This is what she said. Okay, now you got it. You got it. All right. I'm still here. I might want to go for a walk. Now you lay up, now you lay up. Yeah, just kidding. I never heard of this. Come on, Carrie. You can walk her next time. Pretty nice, huh? Comfortable. Mm -hmm. She feels good. I bet Matt would be comfortable with her, too. What do you say? Glad you could make it. We've been waiting for you here. Yeah. Oh, hey, we're going to take you good in. care of him. It's another baby. Say hi to the baby. Who's this? Dad and Dolly? This one's for you. Oh, no. Yes. I don't know how. That's what you're here for. Come on. People who care for babies try to comfort them when they cry by cuddling them, talking to them, walking with them, letting them know they care. Okay. How about one of you guys give Matt a break, huh?
Hey, you want it back now? <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Oh, she got it. Oh, <laughs> no. Excuse me. You're excused. <sighs> Time's about up anyway. Come on, let's get them dressed. How do you get that into this? <laughs> <laughs> diapering without safety pins and cloth diapers that you have to wash. There. Simple as that, okay? Miss Tormalemon? Tormalinus. Call me Janet, okay? I'd rather not. Oh? Uh, I mean, changing diapers for a lot of strangers. There's got to be a better way. Mm, maybe we could get their mothers to stop feeding them. <laughs> no. But how are all the little mommies today? Who was that? Never saw him before in my life. <laughs> Give it a try. Sure. Okay, everybody, let's get him diapered. Moving. Okay, take it off. Watch out. Lift up, lift up. Don't be a rocket. No. Okay. Here we go. Gentle. Gentle. What do you think I'm doing? Oh, you're such a good baby. Don't break her arm. It's okay. Okay. Now I take it off. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. I see you. Peekaboo. Nice of you to join us, Matt. Sorry. Okay. The point is, if you're taking care of a baby, the first thing you have to be is there. Yeah, sorry. You work with Claude today. Now let's get this thing off before I have a nervous breakdown. Hey, he's a she. No kidding. Hey, come on. Come on, it's time to get undressed. It's time to get undressed. Yuck. Miss Tor Janet. Look what we found. Finders keepers. Oh, God. Hold that. It's such a doll, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, you agree with me. Oh, how modest can we get? Matt, Matt, this is your person's job. Let's uh, help Claude here. Claude, these clothes are designed like this. All you have to do is unsnap his bottoms. Okay. Oh, it's okay. Put your kids in diaper. Yeah. Hold his legs. Come on. Relax. Whoa, whoa, whoa. E easy. Look, these things happen. All right, Claude. It's not that funny. Come on, Matt. You come with me. Come on. Oh, come on, precious. Oh, boy. All right. What aim? <laughs> Look, Matt, why don't you go into the boys' room and clean up? You don't have to come back. Not today. In fact, maybe you ought to start thinking about whether you want to come back at all. It's really a, a matter of attitude, Matt. Not letting yourself get involved with the babies. Not letting the babies get involved with you. At least that's how Janet sees it. Look, maybe we ought to leave being kind of babies to the other guys, and we'll just move on to something else that comes easier to you. Is she kicking me out? It's up to you. Yeah. What's up? The drop down. Open up. This is the police. Then you can go up and do that. Open wide. Open wide. Hey. Open wide. Open wide. Wide. Right. Okay, here, here you go. Hey, I think you convinced her to go on a diet, Claude. Mm. 
back off, having a little trouble? Oh, you're funny. You think you can do some better? Yeah. You really do? Mm-hmm. Here, why don't you try? Okay. Master at it. <laughs> Here we go. Here comes the train. Mm -hmm. Open wide. Ah! Bullseye. The trick is on the wrist action, Claude. Yeah! Matt, the feeding machine. Not bad. Want to see it again, Claude? Mm, that's good. My mother warned me there'll be days like this. Brad, he's <laughs> not. You're proud of yourself, too, right? <laughs> here we go, here we go. Oh, that's good. Wait, we'll get some more of the green. Wait, wait. <laughs> Okay, you guys got more on the outside than you did on the inside. But now it's time to clean up and get them back to their moms so we can meet our mystery guest. This is Olga and her baby, Juliana. She's here to show us the uh, oldest and a lot of people feel the best way of, to feed a baby, breastfeeding. Olga said that she'd tell us why she feels breastfeeding is the best way and answer any questions you have. I think breastfeeding is the best way because it's um, human milk was made for human infants. It's made uh, designed especially for babies. It has the proper nutrients um, for a baby to thrive on, to be healthy. A breastfed baby tends to be healthier because of the immunities that the breast milk provides for the baby. In other words, she's, she doesn't get as sick as often. Um, I'm always holding her in my arms. She wants to be held. Baby needs to be held and cuddled and fondled. I like to touch her. She touches me. We have a very intimate relationship. Um, and it's just very nice to breastfeed. Any questions? Uh, is it legal to do this in public? Oh, yes. <laughs> it's very legal. I, I try to do it rather discreetly, but it is legal. Doesn't the father feel left out? Well, no, because he, he enjoys changing her, giving her a bath. Uh, burping her, rocking her to sleep, and all those kind of things that are all just very enjoyable. Oh, so he does have a part in it. He really does. She what? That's perverted. It's not perverted, Stephen. It's natural. It's sick. You're sick. It's beautiful. Just ask your better half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scrub it up. Scrub it up. Get a little soap in the shoulder. Scrub a dub dum. Scrub a dub dum. You wash her back. Okay, let me just get around to the other side here. Okay. Okay, I'll hold her. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Come on in. The water's fine. You root for the Lakers? Yeah. How could anybody root for a bunch of losers like the Lakers? <laughs> All right. Hey, Chubby Chubby. They stink. Kareem, Magic, and Jamal. Who in the Knicks think like that? Sugar Ray Richardson. Is he okay? Is everything all right? Sugar Ray just got that quick for a step on the sets all. He's okay. Oh, well, come here. Yeah, we were just resting him for the second half. Here we go. Wait, maybe we should back on Think so? Yeah, let's go. All right, we'll dry the hair later. Yes, we have a dab mm. Hey, <laughs> you messed up your shirt. Oh, well. <laughs> what do you think of your lifeguard? One sec, one sec. Why don't you cooperate? Doesn't seem to want to stick, does it? It's a good thing you're a patient, baby. We're pretty new at this. Hey, we did it! <laughs> a wash and wear baby. Yeah. <laughs> mommy's here. Yeah. Say goodbye to Sugar. Bye, Sugar. Hey, see you later, Sugar Ray. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. He had a great time. Ooh. It's hard to figure out, isn't it? Huh? Our father could just go off and miss all of this. You mean walk out? That's, that's more than I can figure out. You've tried to figure it out? I had to. Your father? 
Mm-hmm. Doesn't it make you mad? Yeah, it did. But not anymore? <laughs> Only when I think about it. Hi. You said we could talk? Sure. You wanna... Okay. If boys or men have this nurturing thing like you say they do, how come they spend most of their time running off to work or getting divorced? <laughs> Is that what they do? Most of them? It seems like it. Yeah. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? This kid I know, his father walked out on him. This uh, kid you know, he must be very angry with his father. That's just it. What is? He's not angry with his father. Well, if he's really gotten over being mad at his father, then he's probably worked hard at forgiving his father. Because he must have felt very angry. And he probably felt very guilty about how very angry he felt. That's why my guess is this kid you know probably had a lot of help. You know, from people he could talk to and work it through with. You mean like shrinks? <laughs> no, not necessarily. I mean friends, relatives, anybody he felt he could open up with. Even a teacher might really do in a pinch. I gotta run. Bye. If you have nine baseball cards and you sell them to your friends for 50 cents, well, then you get $4.50. And you take that money and you put it in the bank and you get interest. Mom tells us it's time for a nap. So everybody's got to go for a nap. Everybody. Sometimes we jam almost every week. You could sit in. Yeah? What do you play? Drums. Okay. And a little kazoo. Yeah? Hey, Chuck. Uh, nice, uh, man. Uh, beautiful. That was nice. Right on. Right on. Uh, <laughs> All right, baby drummer. Great. <laughs> Not bad, except for the rhythm. <laughs> Why don't you fix us up some refreshments? Why me? Come on, I'll give you a hand. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> you play pretty well. Oh, I'm not that good. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a crowd you got out there. Yeah, there's something. Here, put those cookies in there. <laughs> I guess with all them around, you don't have much time to miss people. You mean my father. If you don't want to talk about hey. it. Hey. I miss my father. He lived here till I was almost six. I wish he still did. What about your father? He lived with you? No. Oh. He lives in Los Angeles. I haven't seen him since I was a baby. You never see your father? He's a real successful businessman. You know, always on the run. Sounds like a real rat to me. He does? So what you got against this guy, Alex? Nothing, I guess. Except he's not your real father. Yeah. Because he's not a rat like your real father. Come on, let's take this stuff out. When those people get hungry, they do get me. <laughs> than that. And Mrs. Brooks, Claude's mom, she's one of Count Basie's best friends. He's from Red Hook. 
You know where that is? Hmm, somewhere in New York City? New Jersey. Oh. Isn't New Jersey in New York City? <laughs> is that Jason? Oh, I thought all parents had super sensitive ears for hearing their babies cry. No. That's him. This one's on me. And don't sweat it, Alex. Even if you are a little hard of hearing, Jason's pretty lucky to have you around. Well, that's good, because I'm not planning on going anywhere. Yeah. Well, somebody better get going somewhere. She may need an expert. Oh, why not? Graduation day. Jason and my stepfather Alex. You never told us you had your own baby. Sure. Thank you, everybody, for joining us at the graduation of the Morrow School's first infant care class. Now it's my pleasure to present certificates of merit to all my students and my very good friends. Claude? Hey. Congratulations. Right. Right. Aramis, you really learned a lot. <laughs> Last but not least, Matt, be proud of yourself. Thank you. You're welcome. I always used to like babies, but now I can show them I like them. Babies remind you that you're not as short as you used to be. They're terrific. Except for the diapers. Maybe I'll be a pediatrician when I grow up. Or an actor. If I could just get my mother to have a baby, I could babysit right at home. The thing is, if I hadn't taken the baby class, I guess I never would have known what my real father was missing.